This is a quick look at the uh, Pilgrim Refuge in Sword Labay, coming through that door there, where the light's shining through into this uh, like a paddock. There's a little shed over there, a couple of trees, and uh, the gentleman was waiting for me around the the other side by the door because a motorist who obviously lives in the town had seen me and and, uh, and phoned him to say there was a pilgrim on the way, which was lovely because it was a holiday, 1st of November, All Saints Day, Catholic holiday, but the whole of France is, uh, is closed really, which is uh, not unlike France actually. I think it's closed quite a lot of the time. Toilets are over there. Um, I went in through the other door, but this is the door that's open at the moment. This was the kitchen, which is... Uh, Great, a little gas burner over there, micro over there, a few supplies, there was even some milk in the fridge, which was great, so this is the quite spacious kitchen, and boiler there with some hot water which eventually comes through, that door's locked, that door's the, sh that's the shower in there, shower, uh, there we go, hot shower. Which is cool. Well, a hot shower's hot, actually, but you know what I mean. That's the craziness of the uh, colloquial language, isn't it? Um, and this was the dortoir, the dormitory. I slept in that bed there. And as you can see, there's enough beds here for about nine people. And a little sofa there. I believe the door there where you write your little comment. A rocking little refuge with a tray gentil like we. Parfait pour and bon repose, mercy pour two. Marco and Oji Bear on their way from Lot Loma to the Sahara Desert. www.walkingforwater.eu Walking for water so others won't have to. That's what we're doing. That's why we're here. <sighs> Reminding myself. So, it was, um, that was great. So I was, uh, as the gentleman pointed out to me, le patron, le patron pour le soir. And I was indeed the patron for the evening. So I had the place to myself, which was great. I cooked up a cheap bit of steak, which I got from the market yesterday morning, which was open for half a day, as opposed to the whole day. Some places were open in the morning, so people could get their supplies for the barbecues or whatever they were doing on All Saints Day, a day which uh, we don't really recognise in Protestant countries. Um, so there we go, and it's a gorgeous blue... November morning. We're now in November and uh, the Pyrenees are in our sight. I'm going to close this door now. Thank you, Refuge. Thank you, uh, people of Sword Labé, for letting me stay here, for being here to welcome me, because that was a real relief. I was concerned that, given that everything was closed yesterday, including the, the mairie here, the um, town hall place, um, Trying to locate someone with a key could have been extremely tricky. I suppose if I'd come in through this door here and found this paddock, I probably could have put my tent up. I could have put my tent up and used the toilet, so it wouldn't have been a complete disaster. So there was a contingency there, but I tell you, it's so, so much nicer being inside with a bed and a hot shower. So there we go. On we go. Sword Labé. Onwards. So, <laughs> shutter needs a bit of attention on one of those windows. A little bit tired in places, but it's kind of it's lived in. It's a it's a rocking little refuge, and uh, I enjoyed being le patron. These are the arrows that are marking the way at the moment. There's a refuge pellerin, just in case you missed it. Now, hopefully this gate is open, because I don't think there's any other way to get out. That's just on a chain. Do it with a stick in one hand and a camera in the other hand. So this is the 